Well, that does it. I'll let the foreman know about your safety valve. Just like it's shunting for the rest of the day for us. <laughs> Great. Just when the day was going nicely, too. Shunting, indeed. I shouldn't be reduced to such menial work. James doesn't really mind shunting. After all, it gives him a break from all the hustle and bustle from the main line. It's the other engines that make it insufferable. Especially if Fergus is about. The traction engine was recently relocated to the big station due to all the rail enthusiasts about. They loved watching Fergus shunt back and forth through the sidings, doing his work. Unfortunately for the others, Fergus was a bit picky about the work. What are you doing? I saw that. That isn't the way you marshal wagons. You should do it right. No wonder those trucks are so cross. Excuse me? A lighter touch wouldn't go amiss. Maybe then the trucks wouldn't cause such a ruckus then. I'll have you know, excuses, excuses, excuses. Well, I'm off. You better take heed to my advice. Remember to do it right next time. He's unbelievable! All week, it's nothing but do it right. Oh, James, a lighter touch wouldn't go amiss. I'm sick of it. Don't be so daft, James. With Fergus around, the yards have never been better. Not to mention, my coaches are at the platform earlier than usual. You might want to take notes. <laughs> James somehow has a point, Gordon. Every little thing I do isn't the right way to him. He's a perfectionist, he is. Oh, don't be silly, Percy. Whenever I see you, you're just sitting in the yard, not pulling your weight. <laughs> oh, you would know a thing about shunting, Gordon. Oh, really? Well, has it ever occurred to you, James, that Fergus here has done more for this railway than you and Percy have ever done put together? Oh, come on, Gordon, that's not true. I've spent the past 20 years shunting the, the yard for you. And never even so much as a thank you for it. Oh, thank you for what? Playing tricks on me and getting e any work done? At least he's done more work around here than you've ever done, Gordon. The next morning, Gordon made his way to the platform. He was tired from squabbling with James. But because he was still tired, he bumped the coaches roughly. Oi! You! You were too rough with your coaches! You call yourself an express engine? As I say, do it right, more. Fergus sat, dumbfounded and dazed, on what used to be buffers. Gordon chuckled as he left the express. educating me on how to pull my train, he ran into a set of buffers. <laughs> what a lark! <laughs> so, I suppose you were right, little James. About what? Oh! oh. Wait. Really? Yes, James. I was wrong. You did have a point about Fergus. 
I'm sorry to say that Gordon's words made James all puffed up in the smoke box and very boastful. You know, Henry, I always had a hunch about that Fergus. With all his blathering about doing it right, he was bound to have an accident at some point. Hard to believe, isn't it? Gordon actually admitted I was right. Me! I tell you, Boko, he must feel so embarrassed knowing that I was right and he was wrong. Fergus always had a knack of running his mouth off. Hard to believe he'd run it off so hard he'd lose focus. In no time at all, the other engines grew tired of James's boasting. They were soon glad whenever he was away. Finally, a moment's peace. Can I get a word or rest with him bragging about being right all the time? He's been insufferable all month. It's time we step in. But what do we do about it? Henry? No, that wouldn't work. Henry! What? Well... You silly oaf! Look what you've done to my buffers! You ruined it! You could have waited a week to break them, but no! I just painted them too! Oh dear... Your local is due out in 15 minutes! What are we going to do now? Might I be of some assistance, sir? No, James. Th that won't be necessary. Uh, Donald? Buckle? I've got to pick up a heavy goods train at the harbour soon. James, would you like to take the- Oh, sir, I thought you would never ask! Finally! A chance out of the yard! Here we go! James whizzed down the main line. All the while, his driver and fine were cautiously checked his safety. They arrived early at the next station. I'm not so sure about his safety valve. Who knows when it'll act up? It'll hold up until the end of the line. Then we can go to the works and get it mended. Off we go, James. Bother your safety valve! He went back for help. And help did indeed arrive. But to James's shock. Can't pull your train properly, I see. Humph! <laughs> like you can pull me and my train. I'd like to see you try. Oh, really? Watch me, then. The guard's whistle blew, and Fergus took up the strain. His wheels gnawed to grip the rails as sparks shot out his fire. Told you. All of a sudden, Fergus began to move. James and the coaches soon followed. It was 
hard work, and Fergus was tired. But at last, the next station came into sight. The passengers were most surprised to see the strange train. Fergus, red in the face and exhausted, brought the train to a halt, right on time. Well, well, seems you still have a lot to learn about doing things the right way, eh, James? So, as Fergus moved off the train, James pondered what he said. He did, in fact, have a lot to learn about doing things the right way.